Before we start the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. I wouldn't be able to keep doing this without you, and I wouldn't be able to be motivated like this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support. I would also like to say thanks to Joshua and Richard for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to Code Gorilla and James Bond for his tier 4 sub this month. In this video, we are going to add the next talent, and the talent that we're going to add is Improved Frostbolt. So this is this talent right here. In the last video, we added the Improved Fireball, and the Improved Frostbolt is going to increase the uh, range of the Frostbolt. So to do that, we actually have to add an extra thing to our spells, because right now they don't have a range on them. Let's go to the spell script right here. And as you can see, when we open it, there are lots of different things. There's damage and title and so on. But we will also have to add the range to it. So let's do that right here. So in a bit. And we see we have speed and all those things. So after the damage, we can make a private float, I guess, called um, range. So each spell is now going to have its own range. This range here needs to be used whenever we throw a fireball or throw a, a spell. So let's just right click and say quick actions and right there we can encapsulate field. And we have created the range somewhere here. Let's just rename it to my range. And there we go. So this range needs to be used um, and we need to use it inside the players. So let's see where we have that. We have something in line of sight and somewhere we also have a um, action where we cast something. We should have a cast spell somewhere. To move. There it is. Okay. So cast spell is using the block and it's checking if we are um, what is called moving and all those things. However, we also need to check if we are in range. So to do that, we can actually create a new method that checks for range. So let's make a private method down here. Return to bool called in range. So we check if we are in range before we cast the spell. The in range method needs to take in the spell that we want to cast. And it also needs to add a vector two as the target's position. So we have the spell we want to cast and the position of the target so that we can check if we are close enough to throw the spell. We are going to return false right away, just so we don't have an error. And basically, we just have to say if vector two dot distance um, target position and transform the position there. If the distance between my target's position and my own position is less or equal to the spell dot my range well then we return true and there we have it so this is our in range method we simply need to use the in range here so let's see here after we check if we are in line of sight we can check well are we actually in range so we say in range the spell i want to cast what spell is that that's the castable up here up here so i can say i castable or what's it called? Castable as spell. And the other thing I would need to pass in is the target position. Um, do I have that somewhere? I have something called my target. So let's just say my target. That's a character dot transform that position. And there we go. So now. <clears throat> We're checking if we're in range before we cast a spell. With this done, and if we check the UI canvas and our talent tree, um, and select any of the, oh, not talent tree, sorry. Uh, we open up our spell book there, and find a page with a, um, select spell book, sorry. We can see we have a range and that's zero on all of them, which means we shouldn't be able to cast any spells right now because we have zero range. So if I go here and select my skeleton, try to cast, nothing is going to happen because I'm out of range. What I would like to do is to set a range and I need to check my notes here to see what range I actually put. Um, spell book here. So I put seven as standard range. Let's see here, seven and seven. And this is just a guideline you can use for whatever range you want. Let's see here. 
and let's put it down in the spell. If I go here and select it, I can cast here, and here I can't cast. So this is the max range basically, just on the edge of the max range. Now I can't cast, here I can cast. Now that we have a range and we can outrange our enemies, I, I would like to put in a message or something that tells me, hey, you are not allowed to cast the spell right now. So we can do that inside our in range. Right here we can say message feed manager dot my instance dot write message and I would like to write out of range when I'm out of range. However, I would also like to do something else. If I go to this method here, I would also like to be able to set a color if I wanted to. So I can copy this method right here called write message and make an overload that also takes in a color. And this color is going to be set um, the color of the text. So I would like to make a text here called t equals geo.getComponentText. So this basically replaces this line. So we would delete that. Then we say t.text equals message, t.color equals color. And there we go. So now we have an overload that allows us to put in a color which means that we can go back to our where, where we player and make a comma here and say color dot red. Yeah, color red, please. There we go. So now you should write out of range in the red color on our screen. So let's see here. If I put down a spell right there, out of range because I'm out of range here. And if I go close enough, it casts the spell right there. So now we have range in it. We also need to be able to change this range. So I'm going to go to my talent. Uh, where is it? My scripts and talent three. There, improved fireball. I'm going to create a new script here called improved frostbolt. And it's almost going to do the same thing as the improved fireball. Just going to close all of this. Also close that. And open up the improved fireball and the improved frostbolt. Basically, you can take all the content of improved fireball and just paste it inside. Uh, if I could figure it out, and try to improve frostbolt here. And then you also need to take the all the inheritance and everything here and put it there. So the improved frostbolt should look exactly like the improved fireball. The only difference should be the name right now. These names, so make sure you have Unity Engine event system to have these namespaces included. I just took them here and pasted them in here. We can delete the gray ones. We're not using if we, we want to. Anyway, let's take the click method first. Spellbook minus let's get spell, frostbolt. Mm, I guess like that. And we want to increase our range with how much I don't know plus equals one so let's add one range to it right now uh, this is a number you can adjust as you go along and uh, this is just yeah me trying to do something get this description improved frostbolt reduce the actually it should say increases the range of your frostbolt by one. I don't know what unit it is or what, what if it's meters or yards or whatever we call it. And all this down here is the same. So if we save now, jump back to Unity, open up our talent tree and our content, our tier one row and abilities. It's such a long way. Ice. We need to replace this with improved first ball so let's do that improve for first ball let's just take all the things here you can just write read it out here we have this one goes there and then we have arrow that goes there and this arrow goes there and then we have it unlocked from the get-go we need to remove this talent take this one and put there we need to go to our hmm, what is it um talent three and find element one, replace it with ice one, find element here, 
and then replace with ice one. I think that was it. Let's see if we have any problems now. So if I mouse over, it says improved frostbolt increases the range of the frostbolt by one. Yes. Okay. So let's test if this works. I take the frostbolt here. Then I need to find the place where I'm out of range. I'm out of range. Like just an edge here. Yeah. So here I'm out of range. If I open up the talent tree and put one point here and close it again, I'm now able to attack and move a little back further. Here I'm out of range again. If I add another talent, I'm able to attack again. And now I'm out of range again. Well, I can add another talent, so it's maxed out. And now I can attack from this range here. So that is the improved Frostbolt. Um, I think that's what I wanted to do in this video. So thank you so much for watching. And in the next one, we're going to take a look at the lightning, uh, lightning bolt here. I think I'm going to increase the damage on it.